Hey guys, TSM Merck here, and today we are going to be doing a Jaeger guide. Uh, thank you to Logitech G for sponsoring this video. Yo, uh, top. He changed his angle, and they're trying to stun him, and there's the pre-fire. He gets one. He gets two. That's a 3k now for Merck. Oh my god, I just slapped that fool. Push. Ajid will get his second kill, and his third. No, that's Merck from 90 who gets his own double kill. So Jaeger's main role is basically to roam and like waste as much time as you can before people hit the site and plant the bomb and certain things like that. Um, with your ADSs, you know, you want to place them in places where the people in the site are going to be taking like late round nades or early flashes or anything just to like protect certain utility that your teammates brought. So what makes Jaeger um, a better roamer out over like certain other roaming operators personally, I think is his gun. His gun is one of the best guns in the game, if not the best gun in the game. It helps a lot when you know you can fight anyone who's pushing you because you have, you know, a better gun than them. The situations where you would pick Jaeger over like Vigil or Mozzie or Wamai even is for one in like Pro League, if one of those operators are banned, like Wamai is banned, you definitely are going to need a Jaeger. But in certain situations, Jaeger is better than like Vigil, for instance, because he doesn't bring any utility to the team. He just kind of like hides from drone. And if the team needs like a bandit trick or they have evil eyes they want to put down and they don't want it to just get ashed immediately, you'd want to bring a Jaeger over a Vigil or a Mozzie who can't protect your utility over those things. Personally, I think the best maps for Jaeger's utility wise is like Cafe, Clubhouse is a good one. You know, a lot of places where you're gonna get naded or flashed or they're trying to burn a shield or anything, it's really nice to have ADSs. Some of the things that you have to be worried about when you're playing with Jaeger is like, if you're roaming off site and you already put your ADSs down for your teammates, now you can get naded because you don't have those ADSs. And then like Jackal or Ying or anything for when like people are pushing roam clears, once you're done putting your ADSs down for your team, you kind of are alone with like utility. Like you don't have anything else besides your gun at that point. So you want to just make it work and try to avoid dying and stuff like that. Personally, I like Jaeger the most because when I first picked up Rainbow, uh, I started exploring around with operators and I, I really enjoyed playing Jaeger. His gun was really powerful and he had, you know, he had an ACOG and uh, he was a three speed and it was just really fun to like run around, spawn peek and like play him. And so I played him a lot and had a lot of experience on him and you know, it came from just playing him so much that that's why I play him <laughs> at that point. Good counters to Jaeger are, if you want to destroy his utility, it's bringing a lot of flashbangs. Or Thatcher, because you can just Thatcher above or underneath where his ADSs are and they don't even zap it. And, you know, then you get whatever utility you want to get for free. And then if you're roaming, you know, you got to watch out for Jackal, Ash, who's just coming in hot, you know, Ying, any type of roam clear operators where they, you know, sledge where he can nade you out of a certain position. You know, you just want to be like careful of those main ops, just like how you would be careful of like other operators too. So he's like a good counter to like nade operators. For Ash, for instance, she's, he's a good counter too, because you know, you want to Ash a shield. It has an ADS in the way. You can't burn the ADS because you don't have flashes. So, you know, you have to wait rely on your other team for help. So my loadout preference for Jaeger is the 416 carbine, obviously. Um, the pistol, and then um, usually I'd bring barbed wire just to help out the team. I go with the 416 over the M870 because the M870 is a very close range gun. Jaeger's primary gun, the 416, is one of the best and most powerful guns in the game. So there's no really upset to bringing it. Even if you're close range, the gun will still do a lot of damage. So for the pistol, the P12, the pistol on Jaeger is mainly used to run around faster. Unless you injure somebody, the pistol really isn't needed. The attachments that I choose on Jaeger, obviously, you know, his ACOG's gone. So um, I go with the hollow. I run the foregrip, that's all he has. For muzzles, I go with flash, but I think flash feels a little bit better on the carbine. But uh, yeah, so I run the hollow, the flash, and the foregrip. So personally, for Jaeger, I really like this Logitech G Pro X headset. 
because I'm able to hear, you know, drones driving by. I'm able to hear if someone's cooking a nade, if they're breaching a wall, you know, certain things like that. And it's really good to have sound when you're roaming. And, you know, this headset is just so comfortable and loud sound and, you know, the best in the business. So definitely prefer this headset over a lot of other ones. So in the prep phase with Jaeger, you want to instantly try to put your ADSs down where you either think or know that your teammate's going to put like an evil eye or bulletproof or something that you need to protect. And then you want to put your barbed wire down or your bulletproof down. And then you want to reinforce. Jaeger has a lot of things to do with the three ADSs and the two pieces of barb and then, you know, trying to get walls. So you want to try to get walls as close to site as you can just so you get them done fast. Um, if you have to get like hatches and stuff with Jaeger, you would honestly want to run up and get those first and then throw your utility down just so you know you're not late to getting a hatch and you end up getting shot through a window or something. Definitely just focus on throwing all your utility down quickly because you have a lot of it and you don't want to be late and getting caught off guard in the prep phase into the round. So, so my thought process when I put down an ADS is, is it a lane for someone to throw a nade or a flash. Um, you wanna place them hidden underneath things or like around a doorway or something where like they can't shoot it for free because obviously if they shoot it for free, it's useless. But also the fact that you want it to be kind of near an open space where it'll catch something flying by. With the new nerf to Jaeger's ADSs where now he can only catch one projectile per ADS every 10 seconds compared to when he used to just be able to catch two ADSs. Uh, but now, um, you kind of just want to place them near each other so that they still do the same job as an old ADS would. You want to try to combine like Wamai well, or, you know, Aruni or things that they also have to burn before they get to the ADSs because they only have to throw one flashbang to get like a shield and stuff like that. So it doesn't really do its job as it used to, but like it's not anything too crazy where, you know, you don't want to bring him because he still catches things, so... And then later in the round, you kind of want to either give things up and go back to site once you've wasted enough time. You know, you can play with your teammates in site. You know, you have a good gun to help them hold the pushes and stuff like that. Or if you can't get back to site and you know, it's coming to an end, you always want to just kind of like flank or get back to site. I try to like red out away from the site, shoot the enemy's incoming drones, you know, even try to like get a pick on their entry who's coming in first. Just being able to try to get in a pick or, you know, shooting a bunch of drones and wasting time, just keep falling back and making them push you instead of the site, then you help tremendously with the round. So when post plant positions come up, like if you know you made it back to site after roaming and they still ended up planting the bomb, you basically want to communicate with your teammates, you know, hey, I'm going to push this or hey, I'm going to defuse, hold the door. And if you still have utility when the bomb is down, you did something very wrong because ADSs aren't doing their jobs if they're in your pocket. So you shouldn't really never have any ADSs in your pocket if the bomb is down. But basically just playing off each other. Jaeger is usually best off pushing first and, you know, getting traded out because he did his job, you know. He doesn't have any utility left. All he has is his gun. So you kind of want to go fight the people that are holding the bomb first and then let your teammates trade you if they have smokes left, if they have impacts left, if they have nitros left, you know, they can use those. So in conclusion with Jaeger, you know, you want to waste as much time as you can on the roam, play off your teammates, put your ADSs down in hidden bots, but they also, you know, work to catch projectiles being thrown. Jaeger is seen to be one of the easiest ops because he has one of the best guns, but if you don't play him correctly and you just run around and shoot, it doesn't make a good Jaeger. A good Jaeger, you know, communicates, they use their skills, they use their utilities, they use everything that they possibly can to help the team. And that's what makes the best Jaeger, so. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up the Jaeger guide. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, you know, leave a comment on what you wanna see next. And uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at TSM underscore Merck, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.